Hello, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Bill Lease, commander of the 141st Air Refueling Squadron. This year marks the centennial of the uh, 141st uh, Air Refueling Squadron. It was formed in 1917 during World War I as the 141st Aero Squadron. And uh, this is a celebration not just for the squadron, but for the wing. Of course, the squadron uh, belongs to the wing, but the wing also belongs to the squadron. We all know well that no plane moves a wheel and no airman gets in an airplane. Uh, without the support of all the other agencies in the wing. The next 100 years. Sure. The, um, I like to reflect back on uh, the early uh, squadron. Uh, the 141st stood up with a bunch of volunteers who volunteered as uh, with the United States was entering World War I to step up and uh, do what the country needed them to do at the time. That has never changed. Um, that has been the case certainly after 9-11 and uh, as we carry forward in our current operations. Uh, um, there are a lot of reasons why people join the Guard, but at the end of the day, it is a, uh, it is a volunteer organization of people that step forward and do what needs to be done. When someone retires or leaves the unit, they never actually leave. Yeah. Can you elaborate? What do you mean by that? Sure. Um, I, I've often said at retirements uh, in the past that uh, no one ever really leaves the squadron. I mean, we're always sad to lose people, um, but in a sense, you never really do because that person has become you know, a, a, a part again of the fabric of the squadron. They are, uh, they have left uh, an impact on every person they've dealt with, whether it's a subordinate or a superior or a peer. And as those people continue on, uh, they're necessarily influenced by each person that came. So in a very real sense, uh, no one ever really leaves a squadron. I would challenge any member of the 108th uh, to just consider the mark you want to leave on the unit. To, challenge yourself to be the best person you could be because your legacy is going to be part of the, the unit for as long uh, as the unit exists. Um, so I would challenge each of you to uh, uh, look at yourselves, look at the impact you're leaving on the people you work with, and uh, just ask yourself whether that's the kind of impact you want to leave. Okay. Do you think our, uh, our ancestors of the 141st are proud? I believe they. Uh, I believe they are proud. I don't think uh, you know, the technology's changed, the airplanes have changed, but people really haven't changed. I don't think they would feel at all uh, out of place if they were to come to a, a squadron uh, uh, function today. If they were at the gala, I think they would have felt perfectly comfortable.